An infinite ladder is constructed with 1M and 2M resistors as shown in figure. We have to calculate the effective resistance between point A and B. Now since we have repeated 1M and 2M resistors and there is an infinite ladder, so it hardly matters if we'll neglect any single 1M or 2M resistor. So what we assume is that even if we neglect the 1M and 2M resistor, the resistance will be same. So for say if we neglect for an instance this 1 ohm and this 2 ohm resistor, the net resistance of the remaining circuit will be R equivalent that we assume. So if we assume this, the circuit reduces to this circuit. This is my R equivalent. This is the 2 ohm that I neglected, the 1 ohm that I neglected earlier. A point A, it is connected to a battery of 6 volt and here is my circuit, this is my point B. Now to calculate the effective resistance, we have R equivalent and 2 in parallel. So let's say R dash that will be given by 2 R equivalent divided by 2 plus R equivalent. This equivalent is in series with this 1 ohm. So I can write R equivalent because the net resistance will be equal to R equivalent. So I have R equivalent equal to 2 times of R equivalent divided by 2 plus R equivalent plus 1. So on solving this equation, I'll get a quadratic equation and achha, we'll calculate the quadratic equation first. We have R equivalent into 2 times of R equivalent is equal to 2R equivalent plus 2 plus R equivalent. So I have 2 times of R equivalent plus R equivalent square is equal to 3 R equivalent plus 2. I have R equivalent square minus R equivalent minus 2. This is my quadratic equation. Now I'm solving this equa quadratic equation for R equivalent, I get the value of R equivalent as 2 ohm. That is my answer for the first part. In second part, I have to calculate the current that passes through the 2 ohm resistor. So I'll apply Ohm's law that is V is equal to IR to calculate the net current flowing. So I have a potential V is equal to 6. Current that I have to calculate and resistance is 2 ohm. So I comes out to be 3 ampere. This is the net current flowing. So this will be the current coming out of the battery that is 3 ampere. Now current I is coming over here. Now since R equivalent is also equal to 2 ohm, so the current will be divided equally because the resistance is same, potential difference across the two resistors will be same, so the current will be same. So current will be equally divided, that will be I by 2 over here and I by 2 over here. So the current that passes through the 2 ohm resistor will be equal to, so 2 ohm resistor will be equal to I by 2, that is 3 by 2, that is 1.5 ampere. That is the answer.